Welcome to a new GCSE in digital technology. Uh, this qualification is overseen by WJC. Pretty new qualification, it came out about three years ago, but we're certainly getting to grips with it here at Scholarius. And we really enjoy it and candidates make great progress in the qualification. Qualification is made up of three areas or three units. And as you can see on the screen, there is an on-screen test, which is unit one, which is just the, the theory work. Uh, unit two, digital practices. Uh, unit three, communicating in the digital world. I'll quickly go through each of these units for you. But you can see that overall, it makes up 100% of the qualification. And the qualification is graded A star to G. So unit one is called the digital world with 40% of the qualification and covers six areas of learning which are assessed through an online exam so there's no writing involved it's actually on the screen but obviously you need to know your your knowledge and understanding the six areas which we cover are here on the screen data digital technology systems digital communications impact of dig digital systems on organizations individuals securing data and systems and changing digital technologies and we cover a roth of th different topics within these six areas everything from you know things like digital hard drives um, um hardware software uh, artificial intelligence we talk about data storage uh famous people famous heroes who you know inspire us to be who we are today and obviously those changing digital technologies you know all those things which are changing and actually are changing while we're teaching the qualifications so that's quite exciting you know artificial intelligence robotics um, smart homes, smart technology, all that type of thing. So that's all covered in the unit one um, online test, which is an exam with 40% of the qualification. And you have one opportunity to do this. We normally do this at the end of year 11. But what we tend to do is we dribble the theory through the um, more practical side of the course throughout the two, two years. So we do a year 10 mock examination where we'll do a four week block of theory. We'll then obviously do a year 11 um, mock examination as well with another four block four weeks block of theory um, and then also we incorporate that into homeworks and other activities and lessons as well and then obviously there are going to be some dedicated lessons uh, mainly in year 11 which will really then focus on those examination techniques ready for the actually on-screen exam uh, in the summer of your year 11 studies so unit two is called digital practices this is a piece of what you think is coursework okay and it is with 40% of the qualification and in this in you know, this piece of work, we simply um, you'll give some data for the examination board, which looks like a questionnaire. You import it into a spreadsheet. You do some data analysis. You come out come up with some information in terms of things like the target audience, the purpose, that type of thing. And then you go on then to create a website for that audience, and you incorporate either a game which you create yourself or animation. This is the majority of work we do in year ten. And as you can see from the assessments here. The marks are total out of 80, but we do everything from what we call data organization analytics, which is spreadsheet work with 12 marks through planning of your website, planning of your game animation. We then develop assets. Those are all the, all the things you're going to put into your website and your game, you know, all your sprites or your graphics or your video or your sound, that type of thing. And then you go on finally to obviously build and develop and test them. And then you uh, complete it with a final testing of the overall unit and an evaluation at the end. With, with 80 marks there. Covers assessment areas AO3 and AO4, which you can see from the, the slide here, you know, it clearly meets all those assessment criteria. We then go on to do another piece of coursework, and we do this in year 11, called Unit 3, Communicating in the Digital World, with 20% of the qualifications for a smaller piece of coursework, but no less very important, okay? and. Essentially, what you'll do is you'll do some basic research starting on some demographics of people who use social media platforms. You'll look at social media platforms, those characteristics, you know, what the sort of things they use to engage people. OK, and then you'll go on to collect and create your own assets um, and then plan and develop your own video for a social media campaign, which is going to be set by the examination board. So that will vary each year on the topic. And you can see here from the assessment criteria again covering AO3 and AO4 and then you can see there it's a total of 60 marks and the two the A and B that's where you're doing a bit of research into your characteristics your demographic type work and then you're going on then to plan your communication 
which obviously is going to be your video. You plan it and then you create it. OK, you can see there's 25 marks there for the creation of the video and there are five marks at the end to do a little evaluation at the end of the overall product based on the success criteria, which you will state at the beginning of your piece of work. We use Adobe software for this, uh, which is fully provided by the school. You'll be able to use it in lessons and also you've got access to it at home to use as well, which is a, which is a great thing to use as well. So this is the qualification overall. It's called the GCSE in Digital Technology run by the WJC Examination Board. A really challenging qualification. The qualification students really love and enjoy. However, there is a lot of work involved in it and it does require you know, a lot of um, planning and thinking about your work and getting you working on time for assessments, which is really important and plenty of feedback. And obviously we tend to run sessions after school as well to help you, you know, get those better grades, get those extra few more marks in the bag as it were. So that's the qualification. If you need any further advice, of course, you can always come and speak to me. I'm Mr. Lloyd. I'm based in SC2 up in S Block. I'm the head of digital technology. Mrs. Hughes is over opposite me there um, in S26. And she also teaches the course as well in digital technology. Both of us really know the course well and can give you further advice and guidance on whether you, know, whether you would be the ideal person to take the course. We look forward to seeing you.